Welcome to the Naylor Road Metro Station located here in Tempa, Temple Hills, Maryland. This is the least used station on Metro's Green Line. We're about six miles from downtown Washington, D.C., which is about a 20-minute ride on the Green Line. Construction for the last stretch of the Green Line started on September 23, 1995 culminating in this station's inauguration on January 13, 2001. This launch coincided with the completion of around six miles of rail to the southeast of the Anacostia Station, marking the opening of the Branch Avenue, Congress Heights, Southern Avenue, and Suitland Stations, and of course, Naylor Road. Recognized for its innovative use of concrete, Naylor Road Station received an award from the Portland Cement Association. The station is island platformed and is 600 feet long. To the south of the station are parking lots and bus bays, and while I was there I noticed that they've built solar panels over the parking lot and were redoing the bus bays. There are about 638 parking spots available, and in 2023 about 96 cars were parked there on weekdays, which is about a 26% util utilization rate. Before the pandemic, it was almost always full. Six bus routes also serve the station and take passengers to local destinations throughout the area. Unfortunately, most of the buses don't run very often. The station is surrounded by low-density suburbia. There's a strip mall, a few apartment buildings, a hotel, and a single-family home neighborhood within walking distance. To the north of the station is Suitland Parkway and its interchange with Branch Avenue, the main road next to the station. The station layout is pretty simple. A light from the train, go down the escalator, turn towards the exit, go through fair gates, and then right in front of you is the parking lot and the bus bays. All right, let's talk about the ridership. Here's the ridership report card for Naylor Road. In its first full year of operation, the station had around 2,373 boardings per weekday. The busiest year ever for the station was 2006 at around 3,400 boardings per weekday. Between 2012 and 2019, it was around 2,621. Post-COVID in 2022, it was around 610. And in 2023, it was around 960. And so far this year in 2024, it's been around 1,515 as of March 8th. Since 2012, when Metro started putting data onto their system, the station was most popular on weekdays in August of 2017 at around 7,000 people boardings per weekday. This was because the last two stations on the line were closed for repairs and people had to use Naylor Road to get to their final destination. In 2023, Metro started counting people who jump over the fare gates, and at this station is one of the higher ones on the system. Around one third of all entries at the station are people who jump over the gate. All right, let's talk about the pros and cons of the station. I tried to record this outside, but it's really windy. Pros, there's parking there for those who need it, and also trains come every eight minutes, which is pretty good. Also, a, a decent amount of buses serve the station. However, most are very infrequent, but bus 36 runs every 15 minutes to DC, uh, which is pretty good. Let's talk about the cons as well. Um, in the 20 years that this station has been around, uh, just nothing around it has been redeveloped so the land use near the station isn't great and like i said the buses that run at this station either run every 30 minutes or every hour depending on the time of day or if it's weekday or weekend so not great i give the station a four out of ten this is the second to last episode of my least used dc metro series so stay tuned and hit that subscribe button to catch the last one which is the least used metro station on the entire system coming soon goodness it's windy today thank you so much for watching go outside remember to touch some grass have a great day.